Okay, so first, let's start off with the definition of paintball. According to dictionary.com, paintball is a game that simulates military combat. Players on one team try to eliminate players on the other team by shooting capsules of paint at them. And I'm pretty sure we all know what paintball looks like. It's a round ball, there's paint inside of it. It's not that exciting. The minimum age to play paintball, at least on most fields, is 10 years old. There are many different things to know before playing paintball, and I hope to inform you guys about all of it, or at least most of it. The things we will go over are equipment, rules, strategies, and why you should play. So first, let's start off with the equipment. What you will need to play with is a marker, which is what these are, it's just the no, this is paintball gun, technical definitions of marker, but that's what it is right there, pretty exciting. You need a air tank, which is what this is, that's what gives your gun the power to shoot the paintballs. You need a hopper, this is what holds your paint on your gun, can't just load one at a time, that would be pretty ridiculous. And you also need a mask. It's one of the most important things is a mask. Because no field anywhere is going to let you play without a mask. That's the bare minimum according to paintball.about.com. So there are optional, there's optional equipment which you can have, which most people have a pod pack, which is what this is. And it looks like you would wear it in front like that, but that's not how you wear it. You actually wear it upside down and you put it in the back so that when you're reloading, you just pop it open and then pull a pot out and reload and then pop it back in without worrying about it. You don't have to look. So while a lot of people have pod packs, I would say that some players consider it a necessity, but it really isn't because you can play with just the hopper. Uh, knee pads, if you just wear shorts because some of that stuff's pretty uncomfortable to kneel down in. I'd say a lot of it is. And there's a jersey, which I have, and I would say a lot of other people have too. I need to wash it, but you know, whatever. Just a jersey. So. And also, uh, there's a barrel kit. There's barrel kits that you can get for your gun, which I have one. This gun that I just recently got. And what barrel kits do is they give you different size backs, or in some cases inserts that you put in there to size the paintball more accurately. In this case, it's two piece, so I would twist this off. And this is six eight three because not every paintball, they all say they're 68 caliber, but they're really not. Some are close, but none of them are exact. Plus they vary from uh, different brands of paint. So there are also, there are many different types of markers. There's a mechanical, which is what this one is. It's just your basic semi-automatic fire gun. Pretty easy to take apart and clean, really nice. There's a pump gun, which is what this is. As you can see, you gotta pump it once before you fire. And there's also an electronic gun, which I don't have to show you. I had one, they were it's nothing but trouble. You know, some people really enjoy them because they can shoot really fast. You can put them on fully automatic, uh, semi automatic, three shot burst, whatever you want, really. But it was a lot of trouble for me, and I'll never buy another one again. So, next, I'll talk about some rules on the field. First, and most importantly, you're never allowed to take off your goggles while on the field, like I said. According to ApocalypsePaintball.com, it says the rules on there. If you do, you might get one warning, but you'll most likely be kicked off the field right away, and that's without a refund, of course. You're not allowed to shoot any wildlife that you see out there. Like, I've never ran into anything, but I mean, if there's a squirrel or a bird, you can't shoot at it, because they'll kick you off for that, too. There's also a weird rule, which I've never understood, and that's that you can't throw paintballs. Like, if your gun just breaks down, you can't just throw one. They'll get mad at you for that. I'm not entirely sure why, but, you know, just what it is. And uh, just a pretty basic rule as well is to just be nice and not try and start any fights with anybody. You don't encounter that too often, but when you get into those bigger games, it's bound to happen because there's always going to be that one guy, and he has to just ruin it for everyone.
Next, I will cover some strategies on the field. The most important strategy you can ever use is communication. Communication is the key between winning a game and losing a game. Just shouting out where you see people, positions on the field, anything. It's the best strategy that you can have. And another thing is to just split up. Don't all just hide behind the first bunker as a whole team. That would be pretty stupid. Lastly, I'll explain why you should play. First of all, it's just plain fun. Because it's just awesome. There's no feeling like playing paintball. If you play even once, you'll become addicted. Another reason to play is that it's great exercise. And my favorite reason is that you can shoot your friends and you can't put a price tag on that. So, in conclusion, paintball is a combat simulation. You'll need at least a marker, hopper, air tank, goggles, and paintballs to play. You just have to follow the rules. Remember, it's for your and everyone else's safety. Communicate <coughs> with your team and get some exercise and you will have the time of your life.